Hey guys, what's up, how's it going? This is Easy Drawings. Today what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over how to draw Spider-Man. It's gonna be step by step. It's gonna be very easy. It's gonna be for beginners, okay? So I'm gonna take you right through it. Um, so this is more of a fine art style of Spider-Man. I'm gonna be doing it within this ink. Faber-Castell P-I-T-T Artist Pen. I'll put the link in the description if you're interested in, in looking that up on Amazon and getting that. Um, but yeah, this is kind of a sequel to my other video. Might as well do it. Um, so let's get started and pay attention and uh, let's get going. So I'm gonna start with a far side eye. It's gonna be like that kind of swoop S, S cave, S shape. You know, Spider-Man, his eyes are usually like that. Then I'm gonna pull down. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close that shape. That's the far side eye. He's gonna be looking slightly to the left. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the other eye. Actually, before I go into the other eye, I'm gonna create the head shape and so that I can uh, get my proportions correct. Going down right here to the chin. Pulling back. Pulling up toward the chin. So, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the other side. I'm gonna create the skull shape. Pull down the back of the neck. And pull all the way down until it hits the trapezius, the traps. Pull the front neck here, and you have the traps as well on that side. Now I can go back to drawing the opposite eye. The reason I, I waited is because I wanna kind of uh, get my proportion correct. Pull that eye around here. Pull it toward the front. The part is a little bit off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna even out the eye shapes because what I was gonna do is I was gonna originally draw big bold black lines on both of these. that point in the center. Draw a thick line on the outside of his eye. And then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Alrighty. Gonna even that shape out a little bit more. And even out even a little bit more. So, now that we have this, it's gonna curve around the side here. Now that I have that, it took a little bit longer than I wanted it to. I'm gonna create the center point of the web in his mask. I'm gonna draw little octagons here. Essentially, nothing too crazy. And I'm gonna pull a long line it's gonna curve around the curvature of his skull. And I'm gonna do that. You can draw as many as you want. Or as many that will that will fit. Seems like four fit on the top of his head over here. And then four fit down. This is your, your, the constriction of the web. But think of the shape of the head like 3D, like you're doing a 3D model. Think of the wrapping around a skull, you know, that it would do. I 
like it would go down here for the, the back of the jaw and it would ultimately fall the back of the neck over here. Pulling down. For the neck. There's a little line there for the Adam's apple. And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm, it's easy. The easy part is drawing the other cross section of the web. You make this slight curved shape in. And then you estimate the distance there. Slight curve shape from each point to each point. And I'm gonna keep going until I hit kind of the top area where, where I have no more room. Kind of keep going with that shape as much as you want. Down the neck. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm gonna look at like what I think is a mistake and I'm gonna curve the eye here on Spider-Man, his eye. And on his other eye. Kind of fixing that up, and that's kind of what the end of the drawing is for. Is you're, you're trying to uh, just kind of complete what you started. I'm gonna draw it in the middle there, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a thicker line around the outside. The reason I want that is because it creates uh, more complicated shapes on the inside. With a little bit of shadow underneath the neck around the character, so it'll be obvious where the, the plane changes. And that's it. Whew. I hope that was easy enough for you to follow. Uh, please comment below if you have any questions or you want another character drawn. Uh, also, uh, I asked this in the other one, but what is your favorite Spider-Man movie? Uh, do you have a favorite Spider-Man movie? Uh, if so, what is it? I, I asked it like a couple years ago, so I'm gonna ask again. Thank you so much for following and I will see you next time.